Today, we're making a Lego safe that is unbreakable. And when I say unbreakable, I mean that there's only two ways to open this safe, either legitimately or by breaking a Lego piece. But before we test to see if it's actually unbreakable, let's open it legitimately. The way to open this Lego safe is to get any piece with an axle on it. As you can see, you can't open it yet. Rotate it counterclockwise, and then you can open this safe. It's a little bit of a small drawer, but you can still store quite a few coins in it. Once you finish putting your coins in, just insert the drawer back in the safe, get the axle piece, rotate it clockwise, and now it's locked again. Okay, time for the fun part. Let's see if this Lego safe is actually unbreakable. Once you peel all the decorations off, you'll notice that there's this interlocking design of beams attached by pins. And no matter how hard you try to pull them apart, you can't. But maybe there's other ways to open this safe. Let's have a try. You can peel these pieces on the side off, but it doesn't really do anything. You can also try pulling out the middle part of the safe, but it's locked and you can't shake it out. I also tried going around to the back, but this axle is too tight to pull out. But maybe I'm just weak, so let's test it with a different way. So here's the safe after I drop tested it. As you can see, it's a little bit shaken up, but nothing has fallen apart so far. I guess it's good enough to conclude that this LEGO safe is truly unbreakable. So let's have a look at the mechanism. You can see that there's some tiles inside. And when I try and pull the bars apart with tiles on them, you can't, but at the top, they can easily be pulled apart. These tiles are stopping these bars from being pulled apart. Now, with all the tiles removed, it's pretty easy to pull the safe apart. Now let's have a look at the inside mechanism of the safe. There's a central axle which if it rotates has a gear rack on top and this gear rack goes in this little hole at the back. And all this does is just to stop the safe from moving once you lock it. Okay, let's build it. So there's two main designs you can use, this is the first one, it has way less pieces, and this is the second one, it has a lot more pieces but looks better.
Okay, so for the smaller compact design, you're going to need two of these. And you're just going to attach them around the edge of the front of the safe. Then just get a 7x7 seven seven slab with plates on the bottom and tiles on the top. You can do it any way you like. Two more of these pins with studs on top and just put it on and you're done. Okay, so now we can do the second design. Keep the pins on in the back. And you're gonna need four of these pieces. It's a four by four uh, four by four plate with these tiles attached on the top. But first, you need to go around and attach these pins onto the sides.
for the front, you need one of these. Now you can start attaching these side plates. And for the back of the safe, you need a 9x9 slab. And now you're finished.